Hey everyone, welcome to my channel or welcome back if you're not new. My name is Michelle and for today's video I have an unboxing. So during Black Friday I did order some planner inserts from Infinite Lotus and they have finally arrived. Um, I do have a Louis Vuitton desk agenda cover that houses a half letter disc bound. So yeah, I ordered some inserts to get ready for 2023 so let's go ahead and open this up together. So it's shipped via United States Postal Service, USPS. Um, so there was a bag on top of this, but here is how the box came inside. And I love it, it's so nicely packaged. So first up we have a little thank you card. We also have a little calendar card for the month of January. And then a little planner owner card. This is really cool. Um, so here you can write in your name, contact and then a little memo um and yeah i'm gonna keep this inside of my planner because i don't even think i have somewhere that says who my planner belongs to so that's really great and then some tissue paper Ooh, it's nicely protected but let's go ahead and see what i ordered so first i have the project planner and i ordered these ones because let me open it really quick I wanted these ones because I've been taking on like a lot of smaller projects so um, I really love this because you can put in like the project name, the start date, the due date, if there is a budget, how much it's going to be, and then if it was completed or not. Um, there's a little area here for objectives so I can put in like a couple of important notes about it and then a little area for brainstorming. If you're new here i just love grid paper and line paper in my planner so i just love how there's like a little place here for me to like brain dump and it is double-sided and this is going to be really great for managing like just little projects i'm taking on um to make sure that i'm getting all of them done because sometimes like i'll take on some things and then um it'll be in my planner but sometimes it doesn't happen the like same week so this is really nice to have like the project here all on one sheet to make sure it's been taken care of and all accounted for. Next we have the 2023 yearly and quarterly overview and let me go ahead and open all of these ones up. I remember specifically ordering this set because I wanted this little cover sheet um because i was going to buy the one that was translucent just like the one i had last year let me find it to show you something like this you see how this one is like translucent um i was going to order this one but i saw that this set um, the 2023 yearly and quarterly overview, it already came with one, but it's just on paper. Um, and that's totally fine with me. I can just have that one in here, but I wanted something that would um, give me like a quick overview of the whole year because I always find it really helpful having this one in my, in my planner to just take a quick glance at. So I have this one here. And then on the back, we have all of the different months so you can take note of everything anything that is important during the year so we have all of the months of 2023 I really wanted this set too because it really had um, a place to kind of do goal setting and so we have here 2023 vision top goals and then here it kind of breaks it down into quarters as you can see here following that they have a sheet for each quarter so here we have the first quarter january february and march and then a little place to kind of write next to each of the months and then on the back um, we have accomplishments improvements and then a little notes section too um, and i again love this just for kind of like brain dumping because i i just love having space to kind of write things that are on my mind or when things just kind of like come up so we have that for q1 Q2, Q3, and then lastly, Q4. And again, this one is the 2023 yearly and quarterly overview. I ordered this one because I liked the quarterly overviews, but I also wanted this 2023 at a glance for the front of my planner. 
Let me put this one away. So next up, I have bought some 2023 monthly planners. Again, I did buy a lot of 2023 things because I wanted to get ready for the new year, and I'm looking to do a planner setup with you guys, so yeah. Subscribe to my channel if you would like to see that. But here we have the 2023 monthly planner, um, and I have one for each month, so each of them come with a cover page that has the number of the month, and then over here it says January 2023. And then on two pages, um, we have the month. And I like to get mine not lined because I like to have like the freedom to write whatever within the space. Um, but yeah, I love this because here we have the month. And then on the side right over here, um, there's a little memo section to kind of scribble down any important dates or notes that you have for the month. And then on the back... Um, there is this section right over here too. So we have a little month at a glance and then a space here, one, two, three, where you can write like some priorities, um, for the month. You can scribble down some important dates. There's a little area here for you to write down the date and then what's happening during the day. And there's two columns for that. And then here, um, you can have like four different to-do lists if you want. Um, so I like to kind of break it down into like personal work and whatever else I need for that month. And yeah, there's one for every single month. I'm still debating if I want to keep all of them inside of my planner at one time or if I want to just do like one and then have like the two consecutive months. So like having like one quarter at a time, but I'll figure that out later. I just don't want my planner to be like too bulky and that's kind of the reason why I don't want to carry all of them in my planner at once. Next we have the Today Page Marker. This one is a lot more flimsy or flexible than I imagined. Um, it, it reminds me of the vellum paper that they have, like this one here. Um, actually, no, I feel like this one is a lot thinner. But yeah, this one is a little to-do marker with a centimeter ruler. Um, I was thinking of putting it in here. I kind of like this one more from, where is this one from? From Tool, just because this one's a lot more sturdy than this one, as you can see. Um, yeah, I just feel like this one's very flimsy and, well, if I don't, if I'm just using it as a bookmark, I think it should be fine. But yeah, it's a lot more flimsy than I thought it was going to be. Still really cute though, and it matches the aesthetic of the planner. But yeah, if you're looking for something just a little bit more sturdy, I probably would recommend um, this one here from, from Tool instead. All right, so next we have the Daily Habit Tracker. And let me open it up so you can see it without the glare. So here we have the Daily Habits Tracker. And this one is for like a week by week basis, um, but you can use it for the month. So here we have some habits that you want to complete all day. Um, in the morning, afternoon, and night. And then here you can kind of like check off Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And then if you had done it during the week. Um, I really liked this one compared to say, I have another one from Cloth and Paper. Um, I'll put a picture of it right here. But I liked this one because it kind of broke it down just a little bit more. And then um, I feel like the one from Cloth and Paper, I had to like write in like the date and it was not a hassle but I think I'm going to enjoy using this one a little bit more um, because I feel like it's just a little bit more easy to use throughout the week so yeah this is the daily habits and it's double-sided and looking forward to using this one in 2023. Last but not least, we have the Weekly Hourly. I have been eyeing this one for quite a while. And let me take it out so you can see it without the glare. So this one is the Weekly Hourly, and I love it because it goes week by week, and it goes by hour. Um, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. And then at the bottom, we have a little area for priorities, a little memo section and a little to do section over here. Um, but yeah, I really do love this because um, it kind of gives you a visual for like when things are happening throughout the week. Um, and then usually the, the weekends are a little bit more 
less busy. So I love how Saturday and Sunday here is just not taking up too much space, but yeah, this is the weekly hourly and I love them because they're undated so I can easily switch in and out of these ones and like other inserts that I have in my collection um, to use throughout the year. So, so yeah, that's why I love getting the undated version of all of my inserts because I don't want to use the same insert um, all throughout the year. So yeah, this is different than a lot of the things that I have in my collection and I can easily switch between um, these ones and other ones because this one goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and a lot of the other ones that I have too, um, they go Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So yeah. Looking forward to using these in 2023 because I, I just love the layout of this and I really just love using Infinite Lotus's paper inserts because I love the way the paper feels and I just love the minimalistic look because um, that's what I'm going for in my planner. Anyways, so yeah, those are all of the inserts that I picked up during the Black Friday sale. If you're interested in ordering off of Infinite Lotus, I'll leave my discount code right over here. It's Michelle Adolf A, and you can save 8% off of your purchase at Infinite Lotus. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. My next video, um, maybe in the coming weeks, is going to be a 2023 planner setup um, video. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in seeing. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any other questions about um, my planner inserts or if you're looking for a certain planner inserts um, maybe I can help with that too so yeah thank you so much for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next video bye